Broadman here, violinist and instructor at Online Violin Education, where I train violinists all over the world how to improve their technical skill sets for more melodic playing. Today we're going to be talking about seventh position. This entire year we have been walking through the positions from first through seventh, and today we're at seventh position. So the key that we're focusing on with seventh position right now is the key of G major. So how to find seventh position, and there's actually a couple ways. You can work your way up the instrument, so if you want to shift, shift through the positions, start in first, get into third, shift into fifth, and then shift into seventh. And I just played a G major scale to get myself up there. So G, A, B, and first, C, D, E, well, C, D, and third, and then E and fifth, and then E, F sharp, that's in fifth, and then here we're in seventh. Okay, now seventh position is really pretty cool because it is exactly where the, the string is divided in half. So if you're one of the math physics fanatics out there, you could you know that if you divide the string in half, you have a harmonic. If you divide that in half, you have a harmonic. If you divide it in half again, you have a harmonic. So this is the division of the string exactly in half. Okay? And you can find this harmonic, it's kind of a little bit off topic of seventh position, but you can find this harmonic by playing in third with an extended four. Or at the beginning, first finger in seventh position for G on the G string. Now as you notice, I'm starting us on the G string today to, to talk about seventh position. It, that's because we're focusing on G major and we're going to go ahead and start right away with the G major scale in seventh position. So our first note here with our first finger is G and then A, B and C. Now keep in mind when you're playing in seventh position your intervals are going to be quite a bit smaller than when you're playing in any lower position. Also keep in mind to have a good tone that you need to have your bow closer to the bridge because you have actually decreased the length of the string here. So if you play like close to the fingerboard, you're not going to have a very good tone. With a G string you really need to get up close to the bridge, okay? And with that being said, on the G string, especially because it's a fatter string and we're up higher in the instrument, you do have to give it some extra tender loving care as far as weight into the string to get it to sound really good, okay? And close to the bridge, but not too close because then you'll get another scratchy sound, <laughs> okay? So let's walk through the scale. G, A, B, C. And then on the D string, we have D, E, F sharp, G. On the A string, A, B, C, D, and then on the E string, E, F sharp, G, and then our fourth finger would be A. Okay, so I'm going to walk you again through that with the, so you know what fingers touch, okay? So here we are with G, A, B, C. The fourth finger is going to touch the third finger. And I actually have to feel like my third finger gets out of the way in order for that to be really uh, in tune. So then D, E, F sharp, and G and the three and four touch. And then on the A string we have A, B, C natural, two and three touch, D, and then on the E string we have E, F sharp, G, and A. So you go all the way up to A, okay? So uh, you can stop on G just for the scale. And then you wanna work your way back down, all right? So that is how to find seventh position and quickly how to play a G major scale within seventh position. Now, if you want to turn that G major scale into minor, just lower the third degree, third note of the scale. So that would be our B natural. Okay, and that B natural will become a B flat. So you lower that three in your two and three touch. And then uh, you also lower the, the sixth degree of the scale, so that would be our E flat. And we'll keep for the harmonic minor scale the F sharp and then G. Okay, so that's your G minor scale. Now, I do have to put this in there at the end of the video here. It's not a good idea to find seventh position by using a harmonic. I just wanted to give you that information that that's where the harmonic lives. But you don't want to be like, okay, I'm going to find that harmonic and okay, that's seventh. Because then if you put that finger down, did you hear the change in pitch? The harmonic was here, but then when you push the finger down, it's not the same pitch. Because there's a, with our harmonics, we have a little bit of a leeway of what 
can be uh, acceptable. Uh, it's a little bit wider of a leeway of where your finger can be in the resonance of the string than when your finger is all the way down. So when you do find that seventh position, make sure that you truly feel, okay, that's where seventh position is. Okay, so you really want to physically feel. Now if you're working uh, through my position mastery immersion, you know full well how to find the seventh position physically, visually, and orally at this point. Those are the three things you want to hang on to. So enjoy and happy magical practices. Ciao.